Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again. All right, guys, so pretty much we're going to start a new series. This new series is about how to make money independently, right? So the title of it is how to make independent money from your web development skills. And what does that mean? You know, it's like people probably thinking in the head, like, oh man, like what? Like I'm gonna freelance, I'm gonna do this and that. Like, nah, we're talking about put your skills to use, right? Let's put your, your skills to use. Have you ever gone to let's say CSS generator or like let's say gradient? Right? Let's say this colorzilla.com, right? The person that built this, he gets a steady income from this website, right? Because this is a major website. Everybody comes here, okay? Everybody has used this before. Or, like, let's say another one like uh, CSS Matic. There's another one. So, you can see this advertising right here. And the reason why I'm showing this is because I'm pretty sure a few of you guys have used, uh, you know, a little micro mini micro tiny little service like that right <laughs> or this one angry tools gradient like i'm pretty sure you guys have seen this right you see ads right but everybody used those right and at the same time it's like how long does it really take you to build something like that not that long right but at the end of the day those guys are, are making money so i want to show you guys how to make money like that and other better ways okay so let's get started okay find an industry could be healthcare finance service many more <laughs> you know there's a lot of different industries that you could find it doesn't have to be just in web development you know because even like right now let's say somebody created a flexbox generator i haven't seen that yet but one of you guys could build that right but do you really have to get stuck in just doing web development stuff? Nah, you could do a whole bunch of different things. Like there's people that do, uh, you know, little applications for Facebook and they make money off that. There's guys that go in and create, uh, you know, income calculators and stuff like that. Like they make money, you know what I mean? So those are the things that we really want to focus on, you know, other stuff that's not really dedicated just for, you know, developers and designers. We want to build stuff that the general public really use, you know. So find an industry, but at the same time, you must have some type of interest in it. You can't just be like, hey, I'm going to choose the bowling industry. I found a way to keep track of the pinballs or whatever. I don't know. I never play bowling. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like you have to do the research. You have to actually come in and think about it and be like, hey, like, am I passionate about this industry? Do I know enough about the industry? Because the whole point of it is for you to solve problems. You know, that's why the title says, hey, what problems can you solve in that industry? If you're not passionate about that industry, you have no idea what that industry is about. Or you don't have a friend that knows what, it, what you know, what they need. Whatever you're going to create is going to be meaningless. It's going to be useless so you got to have some type of passion for it so at the same time you got to do the research and i'm going to continue bringing this keyword up research you got to do the research on your own to figure out what are the things that you can help out with okay now one thing that i'm going to tell you everything that you can think of can be done on the web Right. You know, somebody told me the other day, man, I have this great application in my head. And but, you know, I got to send a text to somebody. Wait, you could do that. And <laughs> there's literally uh, API send text API. There's uh, I forgot what was the name Twilio. Use Twilio before there's an API for that. You could literally send text to people. You could come in and keep track of people through notifications through their phones and there's so many different apis out there like literally you almost do everything that you could think of through the web okay especially because everybody has you know a big phone with them <laughs> it's like who has 
You know, who's who's walking around with an iPhone 4? You know what I mean? Like, everybody's using iPhone 5 minimum, you know? Nobody's using the iPhone 4. People have iPhone 5, 6, 7, 8. Like, we, we're pretty advanced right now, you know? It's like the Note 8, Note 7. Like, people are pretty much walking around with a laptop on their hands, okay? So, worry about a domain? Hmm, what does that mean? You know, because now you got the idea. Now you're like, okay, I got an idea. But you're like, man, all the domains, they're already taken. Everything has been taken already. I don't know what to do. Guys, stop worrying about the domain. You know, so what? They they already took, you know, how to order cookies in one button.com. Like, <laughs> who cares? You know, stop worrying about that. Stop worrying about the domain name. The domain name is actually secondary. Like, nobody cares about that no more. You know why? Because now Google doesn't go by, hey, is this, you know, let's say, for example, uh, comicbooks.com. You could literally search probably, like, comic books, and comicbooks.com is not going to show up right now, like, as the first search result. Comic books. Let's see. Okay, Midtown Comics, uh, let's see, DC Comics, Yelp, uh, my comic shop, uh, Reddit. Okay, comicbook.com is somewhere in there in the front page, but look how far they are. By the time people get through here, they're not looking at what's down here. I'm being honest. Like, it's going to be rare that anybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, comicbook.com. And the only reason that this... Uh, dot com is really there is because it's probably been here since like the beginning of time yes like this website is super old like <laughs> you look into it and see how it was built is like it's walking around with like pearl or something you know what i mean like nobody cares about the dot com no more because it's it's all about can people find you you know and if google decides to leave you you know for you to get popular Right, and you could become popular on your own. You could literally come in and do a little marketing. You could come in and share some some of your your pages to other people on Reddit or ProductHunt.com. I mean, we're gonna go deep into all of that later on, but for now, let's just leave it for <laughs> for last. Just focus on the product, man. Don't focus on worrying about. Oh my God, my domain is not there. I'm not gonna build it. Nah, don't worry about that. Start simple. If the project needs hundreds of developers, you failed automatically. Now, I bring this up because somebody who I consider my mentor, the person who motivated me to really do everything that I'm doing right now is this guy called Levels.io. I don't even know his real name. I just know him as Levels.io. <laughs> like, and you would think like, hey, he don't have a dot com. He don't have a, a whatever. Somehow I found this guy. Right now, what's cool about him is he made 12 startups in 12 months, right? Each one of them were pretty much like dumb ideas. I'll be honest, but it's the fact that he was like, hey, man, I'm just going to work at one month for each like little startup, you know, selling stickers and stuff like that. Like he, he just, you know, started making money. Like it sounds really dumb when you think about it, but the dumb things in this world are the things that are successful the things that you'll be like oh snapchat oh yeah like i could have thought of that oh instagram like oh yeah just upload your photos and let everybody press like on it yeah i would have thought of that like all of those things are already there you know but those little dumb ideas are the ones that really get popular so he came up with this idea of nomad list because he actually travels all over the world mostly through Asia at the time he was, you know, backpacking through Thailand. He was like, man, nobody has a website where, you know, people can come in and share their, their experience about how was the, you know, the villa that they rented, the, the room that they rented, the apartment that they rented, or how much did it cost them to really live in that, that city, that town, that country. So he pretty much just created this, right? So if you go to his website, levels.io, you will see how he actually built all of this stuff, right? He started very simple, very, very simple. And, you know, as the website starts getting bigger and bigger, he started adding new things. And then after new things come up, you know, he said, you know what? 
let's start charging people. So now Nomad List that IO I believe has um I forgot uh look 250,000 plus data points which means it's like cities and and um and areas and apartments that people have reviewed over the years. Now I want to see the community cuz that's where the money comes in. Let me see people is it people yeah, so a whole bunch of people get to to see it. I mean, anybody can join. And this website's so simple, guys. I'm telling you ahead of time. Like, if you come to this website, you'll be like, wait, people are actually members of this website, and it's so simple. Yeah, because it gives them value. You know what I mean? Like, whatever community they're from, like, they're pretty much backpackers and and digital nomads and freelancers who travel all over the world but they make their money you know what i mean so for him he's good he makes about like 60 70 grand per month just from this website alone now he got this other website which is called uh i believe is uh hoodmaps.io or .com hoodmaps.com which is hilarious and it's funny to me because i had the same idea of like to actually come in and create some type of uh, map that shows people, hey, this is the good neighborhoods, this is the bad neighborhoods. And this is pretty much what he built. You know, the only difference is he lets everybody that comes to the website join and basically highlight the area. Like, hey, green is where the money's at. Uh, red is where the tourists is at. Uh, blue is the blue collars. Uh, uni is the university kids and uh, normies is just regular people you know and sometimes it's <laughs> sometimes people use it for something else but um yeah so definitely it's like when you think about it it's ideas that are very simple but are very profitable just because you are a developer doesn't mean that you have to work for a company 24 7 like you know you I always tell people you always have to have an exit plan you know what I mean like at some point you're gonna be like hey I want to create something cool like you know there's only so far that you can go in your career as a developer and be like hey yeah I work for Google and then what's next NASA okay you work for NASA okay what's next like what goes after that you know what I mean like you got to have goals and you got to have aspirations of, of things that you want to do. So this is a great way for you to start that journey of building things on your own. And I'm telling you from um, my own experience, I've actually made a lot of money on my own. Like aside from YouTube, everybody thinks that I make money from YouTube. Guys, I make literally $300 from YouTube. It's kind of embarrassing. $300. You know what I mean? Like I don't make money from here. Like, this is not how I pay my bills. This is not how I survive. But how I survive is creating small services, microservices, creating different type of websites, putting my skills to the test, right? Think about it like this. Let's say CSS generator, right? Uh, let's say grading gener generator or border radius generator. The creator of those websites, right? He has both of those websites, right? Each one generates him $2,500 per month, each one of them, right? How much is that? That's $5,000 per month, right? Now, you come here and you be like, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to flood the internet with microservices? Yes and no, because you got to think about it like this. Like, when you create something, as long as you give value to the people, people are always going to come back. No matter what, even though I know how to do this, it's easier for me to say, hey, border radius generator and come here like this and click on border dash radius dot com and come here and put in five and then come here put in seven come here put in uh 23 come here put in two whatever the situation might be i don't have to write all of this stuff you get what i'm saying like it just makes my life easier and this ads is right here every time that i come here this guy gets to eat because of me. What's his name? Jacob Bilangi. Let's look at Jacob Bilangi. Some guy, <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like some guy just traveling the world, 
chilling, like focusing on stuff that he wants to build on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's not working for a company. He's not stuck anywhere. He's out there in the world building cool stuff, things that he's passionate about. You know what I'm saying? So look at this. Like, you know, you think about it and you be like, oh man, like this guy gets paid to do this. Yeah. Like he pretty much pays himself for creating different, you know, different things and just be, you know, using the skills that he already has, you know, and this is why I want to give you guys, right? Because if tomorrow, God forbid I die, God forbid something happens to me, I want you guys to have this, you know, and be like, hey, man, I remember Joe, same way how I look at levels.io, I want you guys to look at me at that same level and be like, man, Joe put me on to this. Joe helped me out to pretty much uh, become more independent, right? I'm not saying, hey, don't work. I'm not saying don't work at a company. But I'm saying, like, hey, you don't have to be worried about that. Like, if you have multiple incomes, you don't have to worry about, oh, am I making enough money to survive? What if my, my boss fires me? What if this, this, and that? Now you never should be in that situation. You should always have plan B, plan C, plan D, plan A, plan Z. It doesn't matter. You get what I'm saying? So, yeah. Now, don't focus too much on the stack. Don't focus too much on the stack. Don't come in and be like, oh, man, I want to focus on, you know, what's going to be the best thing that's going to scale? Guys, you don't have a product yet. Who cares how it scales, right? Somebody out there is pulling their hair right now and saying, how, how is this guy saying, don't worry about scaling? Guys, this website, slides.com, is very popular. I use it every single day. A lot of people use it every single day. You know what it's built on? Ruby on Rails. You know what it's built on? Highlight JS. Like, jQuery, Modernizer, Hammer JS. <laughs> like, we're talking about, like, very simple stuff. You know, yes, it has a little bit of Node.js for API calls, but that got added later on. That's not what this website was built on. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you got to prototype things and you got to build things as soon as possible. And that's what is going to make you, you know, a better developer. It's not about, hey, man, we got, you know, the, the latest thing. We got Golang and we have, you know, uh, AngularJS with uh, a mix of, you know, Redux with uh, Mobex, both on the same website, just to say, hey, we're cool and we're using everything. Nah, just build something, get your product out, and then from there, you're going to be good. Okay, so use whatever you know. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, let's get started with this idea. <laughs> All right, you guys are seeing this video. If you're seeing this, this is probably the introduction to the whole series. This is probably the introduction to, you know, the course itself because there's going to be two parts of this. There's going to be the series that I'm going to put on YouTube, which is everything that has to deal with planning, everything that has to deal with the design part, everything that has to deal with uh, the idea itself. We're putting it here on YouTube for you guys. Now, for those of you guys that want to say, hey, I like this this content. I like what I, I'm hearing here. I like what I'm seeing, and I want to build a project also. Then, you know, you got to come to my website, codingphase.com, and that's where you're going to get everything. You're going to get the course. You're going to get, you know, the full project being built, plus every single other video that comes with this series. Okay, so I'll see you guys later. It's your boy, Joe. Love you guys. Take care. Bye.